How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to talk a little about how my first multiplayer experience went with the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection late last night. I'm going to talk a little about some of the things that need to be fixed that I spotted along with some of the more obvious things that a lot of you might have already picked up on if you've already played the game. So to start it off, I'm going to talk about some of the maps. The maps are mostly the same. There were a few small differences here and there that I did notice, but as far as the issues go, there was two maps in particular that I thought were going to need some serious work. The first one was Naboo. There was a bunch of my bots in the multiplayer session that I was in that were getting pinned up on this one balcony that was right next to a major spawn, and they were completely gated in. So you couldn't get out unless you were a Jedi or had the Jet Trooper. Also on Naboo, there was a lot of invisible walls blocking vehicles from where they needed to go in certain spots. Uh, right next to one of the spawns on this other balcony, there was a huge invisible barrier as well that needs to be fixed. Also on Jabba's Palace in Conquest, that was the only Conquest map that I had a major problem with being frozen at exactly one second. Lots of lag on that map, probably because of the big monster killing everybody down below. That kill animation was also messed up pretty bad for anybody that got picked up by that thing. Where people were just invisible, then they reappeared and their body was just flashing every one tenth of a second. Also, the respawn timer needs to be completely redone. I don't understand why I'm spawning in 15 seconds late at the start of every match, but everybody else it seems like gets to spawn in whenever the hell they want to. Uh, also, if you die, it's the same thing. It's going to be anywhere from a 5 to 15 second wait time before you can spawn back in. Or if you pick a hero, it's the same exact thing. And that shit should be instantaneous. Like, if I choose to respawn back in after I die, like on the original Battlefront 2, it should just automatically let me spawn in. There doesn't need to be a wait timer. And also, before I forget, there was some other problems on some other maps, but nothing like those two maps in particular, from my point of view, for Conquest. But for the game mode Hero Assault, which is pretty much just heroes versus villains, I kept on getting frozen at one second for every single match that I played in, in the multiplayer for that game mode. It didn't matter what map it was. That game mode in particular was just having so many issues in every single lobby that I was in. I kept on having to dashboard or just quit out because of the one second timer being frozen. And as far as the weapons and characters go, I noticed there was a significant delay playing as Yoda. I felt like it was a solid two second delay for me just using the buttons on my controller and having the char character reacting about two seconds later. And also the normal trooper, the shots were just not registering at all with the main assault rifle. And the pistols were the same way on every character. With the rocket launcher, some of those shots were just making direct contact with people uh, that I was shooting at and doing zero damage. I had three rockets hit me and I didn't die. Then I shot a rocket at somebody on the other team and they didn't die when it made direct contact with them last night. I also shot a tank at point blank range with a rocket and you could actually see it go directly through the tank and then it slammed into a wall that was about 200 feet away. Lots of this could just be the servers just being overloaded, but there was also a lot of lag going on, as expected, you know, for a game that's just getting released. But I just felt like they could have prepared a little bit better, you know, for this. But I gotta tell you guys, the reviews went from like a 4.6 to a 2.4 last night alone. And now it's like a 2.3 on the Microsoft Store. If they don't fix this shit real fast, they're gonna lose their entire player base for the multiplayer at least. I've heard some issues with the cutscenes as well. With the 501st journals and the different sections of the campaign or single player. But I haven't gotten that far on this game yet to see that for myself. Also, the crosshair needs to be fixed big time, or the aiming. I talked about that extensively while I was streaming late last night. They also took away the crosshair entirely for the hip fire for the sniper or scout class, which I, I'm sort of okay with, but I just wish they would have left that the same to keep it more original, you know? But 
Yeah, the aiming has got to get better on this game with the crosshair or whatever, because right now it's just horrible. And the last thing that i got to mention real quick, these games that are ending in less than 30 seconds or 2 minutes on the multiplayer for Conquest, I don't know what in the hell these developers were thinking, making it, you know, 100 lives versus 100 lives or whatever in Conquest, but the solution is right in front of them because I was in a server and whoever the host was really knew what the fuck he was doing. It was a custom server and he made it 375 to 375. And these games were lasting 9 to 10 minutes apiece, which was perfect. I think that they need to make small conquest where it's like that, and then they need to make it to where it's 750 versus 750 for large conquest. Like how it was on the original Battlefront 2 in instant action. That was the maximum that you could go to. And that would probably make it about 20 to 25 minutes uh, long, obviously, depending on, you know, the size of the maps and how many command posts each team has, of course. But I just think that would be a perfect solution to increase the number of lives for Conquest to make these games last just a little bit longer. I mean, make it small Conquest, 375 or 400 versus 400 or whatever, and just make you know, the big one, 750 for the large. I just think that would work out so great if they would just change that. Anyways, those are just some of my thoughts so far on what needs to be fixed in terms of some of the major things that I just so happen to notice right away. I'm going to be posting a lot of gameplay on this game and a little bit of Call of Duty here and there. I'm also going to be live streaming on a couple of different platforms, including Twitch. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys check out my links on my YouTube account. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.